Okay, so we are going to look at stoichiometry. Sounds big and scary. I promise it's not. Okay, so stoic, right? Stoichiometry, we of course abbreviate it because it's how we do, all right? Stoic is a lot of math, okay? I won't lie to you. Um, but it's not tricky math, all right? And, and basically all stoichiometry is is just like a recipe, okay? Stoic helps us figure out in lab, like if I'm being practical, if I'm in a lab and I'm doing a reaction, I start with an amount of reactants, I want to figure out how much product I'm going to make, right? I, I, am I going to make a lot? Am I going to make a little? What, what am, how much am I actually going to make? Um, which is, of course, very practical. Like if you're in a chemical lab and you want to make a product that you're going to sell or something, or you're making a pharmaceutical, you want to actually know how much you're making. Obvious reasons, okay? So that's where stoic comes into play. There are, for me, five steps, okay? So five wonderful steps in stoic, all right? Step number one is to always balance your equation 100%, okay? Step two, all right, is to start with your given. So whatever unit they give you in the problem, that's what you're starting with, all right? Step three, if necessary, convert to moles. Okay, I say if necessary because sometimes the, the given that you're starting with is in moles. So then you don't need to convert to moles if you're already in moles, okay? So if necessary means if not in moles already, okay? Step four, we use the mole ratio. This is our brand new thing, okay? This is easy. You're using coefficients from your balanced equation, which is why step one is super important. This is all going to be so much better when we actually look at an example, like a real example, okay? And step five is again, if necessary, you're going to convert to the units the question wants, okay, if it's not moles, okay, because when you use a mole ratio, you're going to be in moles, if the question asks you to find grams of a product, then you're going to convert to grams, okay, so five steps, and sometimes two of them aren't even necessary, all right, Let's actually look at an example so this won't be so terrible, okay? So, we use my favorite equation because it's easy. <laughs> N2 plus H2 reacts to make NH3, okay? If 12.5 moles of H2 react, how many moles? of NH3 are produced. Okay, so I have an actual problem, right? Hooray. Step one, balance. Done, okay? Step two, start with your given. All right, I have 12.5 moles of H2. Cool. Step three, if necessary, convert to moles. I'm already in moles. Don't need to do that, okay? Step four is the mole ratio. This is the new thing, okay? Which is not tricky. So I'm in moles of H2. I'm here in my reactants. I need to transfer over to get into moles of ammonia of my product. So just like any regular old conversion, I'm in moles of H2, I need to cancel that out. 
So put moles of H2 on my denominator. I want to get into moles of NH3. Okay, and all I do for this mole ratio is just use my balanced coefficients, which is why it's important to balance your equation. So three moles of H2 for every two mole of NH3. That's it. Okay. And it's asking, right? Okay. So mole ratio, step four, right? Done. I use my coefficients. Step five, if necessary, convert units to what the question wants. How many moles of NH3 are produced? Okay. It asked me for moles. I don't need to do step five. Nice. Okay. So moles of H2 will cancel. And I boop, boop, boop in my calculator, 12.5 times two divided by three. And I get 8.3 moles of NH3 are produced. Okay, that's stoic. Let's do the most common type of problem. Okay, so we're still going to use NH3. I'm still going to use my all time favorite reaction because it's easy and it helps us not have some kind of other confusing thing, all right? But our most common type of question is going to be a gram to gram question, okay? So gram to gram is the most common because think about in lab. If I'm in lab, I start with a reactant, right? How do I know how much reactant I start with? I usually walk over to the scale and I mass it, right? I figure out what's the mass of my reactant and then poof, I do some kind of chemical reaction, and then I have a product. How do I find out how much product I have? I walk back over to that scale, and I mass it. Okay, so usually I'm going gram to gram. Okay, so this is the most typical type of question you might see. And if I have 12.5 grams of nitrogen reacting, how many grams of NH3 are produced? I'm abbreviating here. We'll make this shorter, okay? So, step one is balance. Okay, done. Step two, start with your given. Okie doke, I'm given 12.5 grams of nitrogen, of N2. Remember, nitrogen's diatomic, N2. Cool. All right. Step three, if necessary, convert to moles. So in grams, it's necessary. Okay, I need to get out of grams of N2, get into moles of N2. Whenever I'm going gram to mole, okay, I use my molar mass. So one mole is going to be, each nitrogen is 14.01, two of them. So 28.02 grams. Okay, cool. So now I'm in moles of N2. Now I use my mole ratio, which is my coefficients. Okay, I'm in moles of nitrogen. I don't want to be in moles of nitrogen. Get rid of moles of nitrogen. Find moles of ammonia. So put that on the numerator. All right, should cancel out as we go. Grams and grams cancel. Now moles of N2 are going to cancel, and I use my balance coefficients. So one mole of N2 for every two moles of NH3, right? Just use these numbers. And last step, if necessary, convert units to whatever the question wants, okay? In this case, my question is asking for grams. How many grams of NH3 do I make? All right, so get out of mole, one mole of NH3. It's gonna be some amount of grams of NH3. Mole to gram, use your molar mass. 1417.04 uh, grams. Moles and moles cancel. Congrats, I'm gonna figure out my amount of grams. And I boop, boop, boop in my calculator. Did I already solve it? I did. And you get 15.2 grams of NH3. That's stoic, okay? You're going from one side of the equation to the other. 
started with some amount of reactants. How much product do I make? Not tricky, just it's just a recipe.